Okay, so let's uh, move a little further out to Jupiter, and the Juno spacecraft just did another close pass of Jupiter on uh, Monday. And so there's uh, some new results, uh, at least imaging results from that. And just to remind you, the original design of this mission, uh, it, it reached Jupiter last July, um, I think it was July 20th, and uh, I'm sorry, it was July 4th, and went into orbit around Jupiter. It was intended to do two orbits, these long looping orbits that take 53 and a half days. And then at the end of that, which would have put them in October um, of last year, they were going to fire the onboard rocket engine and lower the, uh, um, the maximum elevation of the orbit down to where it was about a 14-day orbit. And there was a problem detected with the onboard uh, rocket motor, and uh, they spent a lot of time examining that. And last month, they decided that they're not going to chance firing that and have it uh, misbehave, and so they're staying in this 53 and a half day orbit. Um, the uh, science return should be very comparable to what they had with the 14 day orbits. It's just going to take about four times longer. And uh, so they're approved for funding through the end of, of uh, I'm sorry, the middle of 2018, and then just like opportunity and uh, curiosity, they have to propose for funding to keep the mission running in an extended, uh, an extended mission. And as long as the spacecraft is healthy, I would certainly expect that to happen. So here's a, a handful of images returned from, uh, from the most recent pass. And so this is looking from the North Pole down to the South Pole, and, and what you're seeing is is just the geometry of the pass. As you get closer to the planet, you're not covering as much, uh, as much uh, width in the image from side to side, so you get these bow tie uh, shaped images coming out. But if we uh, look, I guess we'll zoom in on the, the uh, South Polar region. And so here's the South Pole over here, and uh, looks, you know, lots of structure in this and lots of little uh, bright storms and this th these are all false color by the way not uh, not true color but here's that uh, that dark area that that we were seeing and and some of these these storms um, i think van gogh would have loved this mission so. um, this is a, a fairly unusual spot most of the storms we see are bright relative to the surroundings. This is a dark storm that, uh, that caught their attention. And, uh, sorry. So um, the next uh, close flyby will be in, uh, I think it's uh, uh, the middle of May. And so. White spots. Which these? No, over. Here? Oh, yeah, those. Um, yeah high altitude clouds or different composition clouds I mean, each uh, there's ammonia clouds there's methane clouds there's water ice clouds um, and so they all uh, take on different hues depending on how deeply uh, seated the storm is <laughs> 